Hi, I'm Stuart from Big Game Hunters Sports Ball Shop. Last weekend I was playing hockey in the rain and my grip disintegrated. Um, so I thought it's time to get a new grip and I'll show you how to put a new one on. I've already taken the old grip off the stick and so uh, I've purchased a new grip. Uh, a nice bright yellow one. Uh, this one is the uh, Gray's Twintex grip. On the instructions it says start at the top of the hockey stick handle, secure the end of the grip by overlapping. Now there is some conjecture which is the top. Is it the top of the blade or the top of the actual handle? Now if you start from here and work your way down, in my opinion the grip will be the wrong way around. And so I, I recommend you start from the top of the blade and work your way up here. You should have some grip left when you get to the top. You can just cut that off with a pair of scissors uh, and then we finish it all off with tape after. So work out where the grip is going to start on the handle. Uh, on this stick, particular stick, it's goalkeeper's stick because uh, I'm playing goal. Um, it's going to be just above the Slasinger branding and, uh, and when you work your way up make sure that the the way you go ensures that the text, not the Gray's advertising or the, the Gray's logo, twin text uh, grip, Gray's twin text grip is actually the right way up. Uh, on the back of the on the back of the grip, there is a removable strip which protects the adhesive or the self-adhesive part of the you can just see that from there. You can just see uh, five millimeters uh, either side of the self adhesive strip. We have this protective uh, piece of paper on there to stop it from sticking to itself while it was in, in packaging and allows you to work with the grip. You'll see that the, the end of this is tapered. That's to allow you to get a decent start uh, without being too bulky. So we start by uh, attaching the grip to the stick at the, just above the the branded or branding on the stick handle at the bottom end and then gradually work your way around so as it's level at the bottom and then pull and stretch the grip so the maximum tension as you work up the stick now I did mention before that there is a five about a five millimeter strip which is uh, not sticky then you've got the sticky self adhesive pad and then five millimeters either side uh, so when you're attaching the grip we need to overlap by five milli five millimeters Just gradually work your way up the stick. And just keep pulling and adding tension. And you see, as I'm going up the stick, I'm just removing this self uh, adhesive. Um, protector just to allow me to work around the stick as we're going up the handle. As we work up this the stick the grip is overlaid from the bottom up and so when you run your fingers over the grip it's smooth it's smooth as you go down that allows uh, any moisture to run off of the handle and also to give you a smoother grip, easier to handle and it will make it, the grip last longer. Uh, if you put it the other way up you'll find you'll be wearing the bottom part out really quickly because it will be overlapping the wrong way. So around this point when you're 
if you're doing it the right way up you'll realize quickly that the text is the correct way up obviously if you've started the wrong wrong way the text will be upside down it's not a disaster but aesthetically it doesn't look quite so good Take your time with it because if you have to remove the grip if you've made an error then it's not as tacky doesn't stick so well I'm getting near to the end now near to the top This is where it just gets a little bit intricate at the end. And I would keep the, the back in on just for a little while here, where we run, do a dry run round, and then just see how you want to finish the top of the stick. Now for me, you could run all the way that around but then you get quite a big bump on the end of it which wouldn't be uh, quite so good so for me i'm going to run it back around here and i'm going to cut it on an angle so we've worked out uh, we're going to run this around the top and we see where it fully covers is around here and so you see this is cut on a taper and we're just going to do the same but we're going to start it from here and you can cut it at any angle you like I'd suggest that you follow the angle that's already there. Take off the remaining bit of backing off of there and just finish off on the top of the handle there. Can we just see that? There we go. And the angle I've cut it then keeps it at a similar uh, gradient to the rest of the, the stick as we've gone up. With this grip also comes a self adhesive. Um, strip of tape which then secures you know, the loose end like this and also at the other end as well I personally don't use it as I don't think it sticks quite so well as electrical tape so I take some electrical tape I've got green here you can use any color you wish and you just attach it overlapping the uh, plastic tip of your handle and the soft grip and we just run this round just do a couple of loops round that keeps the the grip in place stops it from slipping and then pull tear off and then we just finish off the top of the blade just go around a couple of times again and so there you have it that's how you grip a hockey stick uh, a simple quick way of doing it, it takes about uh, five six minutes take your time and uh, just do a dry run if you need to just to make sure you're doing it the right way around and you feel happy and confident in doing it 
please subscribe to the channel please leave a comment below and we will endeavor to make those videos for you until next time bye bye